It might, and it depends on whether you are convicted for DUI in court and if you win your DMV hearing. So let's take a look at the two scenarios. In scenario number one, let's say you lose your DMV hearing, but you are not convicted of DUI in court. For example, let's say your DUI gets reduced to a wet reckless or a dry reckless, or in the best case scenario, your charges get dismissed altogether. Then the restrictive period is for five months. Now you will initially serve a one month hard suspension where you cannot drive at all. It will then be followed by that five month suspension with restricted driving privileges. Let's talk about scenario number two. Let's say you win your DMV hearing, but you are convicted of a DUI in court, then the restricted period will be for six months. So you will not have to deal with that one month hard suspension where you cannot drive at all. You will have restricted driving privileges for the full six month suspension. Keep in mind that if you lost your DMV hearing and you were convicted of a DUI in court, you will receive credit for any suspension from the DMV hearing so long as the two periods overlap.